Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum, it's me Talha. So here is another facade design in Revit tutorial and in this video we are going to create a facade design for this small house. But before I get started, I would like to suggest you check out my website learnrevitonline.com where uh, you can get my Revit advanced courses as well as you can check out my Patreon to get all my Revit project files. Anyway, let's get started. So here I'm in Revit and as you can see I have already open this project uh, I model this basic house design and if you want to follow along with this tutorial you can get this project file from my patreon or you can download the reference images from my website cadnates.com for free anyway here first I want to create the ramp and the states so let's go to level 1 and select ramp and I'll just make sure here top level is set to level 2 then we can just draw the ramp let's edit this first I will just move it and place it to the corner here let's make it 10 feet or we can just drag this line until this wall here perfect now let's select this one and make it 8 feet just uh, attach this one here now let's click finish and go to 3d so we got something like this now let's quickly delete these railings and uh, edit this ramp so select that edit type and here first we want to change the shape to solid and then we want to change the slope here let's try 5 click apply and let's check it so it's perfect let's click ok and now we can create the steps here so let's go back to level 1 select stair and uh, we want to make sure top level is set to level 2 and then we can just create stairs from here so we got these two uh, steps here now let's convert this into sketch so select that click convert here close this and we need to click edit sketch and let's just drag this until this ramp and drag this one until the wall now let's move this riser and place it here and let's use tr and just join that one here and this one and on this side as well now let's select this riser line and just move it and place it in the middle of this boundary line now let's join that here and join this stair path to this riser line here then click finish and finish again and let's go to 3d so we got these two, step, these two steps here now let's remove the railings and now let's edit the states and remove the supports here so edit type and just change the right support to none and left to none as well click apply ok and we will get this gap here so let's go to level 1 select wall and change the wall uh, location line to finish face interior and then we can just draw a wall like so then go back to 3d and let's go to the left view here select this wall edit profile and let's change the visual style to hidden line and delete these lines and we can use pick lines and pick these stairs here like so now we can use tr and trim that one and here as well and now click finish and we fix this gap here now we can just mirror this wall so let's go to level one and just make a selection here then use mirror and mirror from the middle ok 
okay i think i did not mirror that wall from the middle of the stairs so we can use align and just align this wall to the stairs here like so so we got this ramp here as well as the stairs now we can create the wood slats here on this wall so let's go to level 2 and we can use this store front to create the wood slats so select wall and select store front from this drop down then edit type duplicate let's call it wood slats okay and change the vertical grid to fixed distance and the spacing will be 5 inches and horizontal grid just uh, we don't want any horizontal mullions so i will just make it none and the vertical mullions let's just leave it uh, on two and a half inch by five inch rectangular and the border type one we can just make it none and the border type two also will be none and the horizontal mullions also let's make all of these none perfect now just click ok and just draw the wall here like so and you see we got the wood slats here if you notice here we still got this glass here so to remove that we can just select the storefront edit type and in the curtain panel we just want to change it to empty now click apply ok there you go now let's see that in 3d see we got these wood slats here now let's change the height of this wall so select that and let's just make it um let's just attach it uh, attach this to this uh, floor so click attach then select the floor perfect now let's work on this facade design so let's go to level three and first i will create a railing here so let's select the railing and then pick lines and let's give a three inch offset pick the edge of this floor and then this one and click finish and now i want to replace this with a glass railing so for that i already have a custom glass railing family so let's load that into this project and again if you want to get this railing family you can get it from my patreon anyway to to load this into the project you just need to select this railing then press ctrl c to copy to clipboard and then just go back to the project and we can just press ctrl v here and the railing family is now loaded into this project we can now just use match properties so let's go to modify and select match properties then click this railing first and then this one there you go it's perfect we got this cool looking glass railing here now let's delete this one we don't need this anymore and now we can work on this facade design and we are going to use model in place to create the design here so let's go to the south elevation now let's go to architecture select model in place then we can use generic models click ok ok again and let's create an extrusion here first you can just use pick a plane click ok and pick the face of this wall here or the face of this floor now let's draw a rectangle from here maybe and i'll just move it a bit let's make it one foot three now let's click finish and go back to level three and let's change the extrusion into one foot three inches or maybe one foot six inches perfect now let's go back to the south elevation again and we want to create uh, some kind of uh, design here so for that we are going to use extrusion again so let's go to create extrusion set the work plane to this face by pressing tab key then i will just quickly draw a rectangle here and this extrusion also will be one foot six 
same like this one just click finish so we got the extrusion here now we want to use the blend tool to cut this part so go back to south elevation go to create then click this void forms drop down and select void blend and set the work plane on this face here and change the visual style to wireframe so we can see this door now let's select the rectangle and give the offset here 6 inches then draw a rectangle from that corner to this just hit space bar to draw it inside these walls like so okay we want to create this extrusion until this uh, extrusion here so let's just drag this line perfect now let's click edit top and this time we will draw a rectangle uh, around this door here like so now let's click finish and if I go to 3d and click outside you see we got this cool looking design here now if you notice uh, the the door still did not cut from this extrusion so what we can do is just select the void and go to the right view and use this handle and just drag it until this wall here there you go got this cool looking design here now let's work on this face here so let's go back to south elevation again and i'm going to use extrusion again to create the design here so let's go to create select extrusion and set the work plane here and we can just draw a rectangle on this side let's select this one and make it six feet or four feet maybe perfect now let's use pick lines and give five inch offset here and pick this edge this one and this one as well now let's give offset from here as well now we can just trim these lines so tr trim here as well so we have created this rectangle here now we can just copy this copy from here now let's select all of this and just use arrow keys on your keyboard to take it to the center here perfect let's click finish and let's see that in 3d so we got something like this let's make it two feet from the wall perfect now let's go back to south elevation again and create another extrusion set the work plane and draw a rectangle from that corner to this okay we need to edit this extrusion which we will do in a moment so now let's copy this one at the bottom of this perfect and click finish and this one also will be two feet let's edit this extrusion and select these lines and just move it here perfect now we can just go back to level 3 and and create another extrusion here so let's go to create extrusion and use line and just draw a line until this extrusion and then just draw a cross line like so and just join that here click finish and go to 3d we got that extrusion here select that and just drag it until this extrusion let's repeat the same at the bottom as well perfect now we are almost done with this uh, uh, facade design let's click finish model and edit the floor here because we want to create a pergola kind of uh, thing here so let's select this floor edit boundary and go to level 3 
and I will just delete these lines and drag this one until this door here until the middle of this door and let's use TR and just join that line and we want to create an opening here so let's use rectangle and give a 6 inch offset and draw a rectangle here just hit spacebar perfect so we got this opening here now uh, we can uh, create the extrusion again uh, to create pergola here so let's go to the top view here the 3d view and go to architecture select model in place generic models click ok select the extrusion let's use pick lines and change the visual style to wireframe and let's give a 5 inch offset from this line here and then 5 inches again and then we can just close on both uh, sides here now let's select this rectangle and copy from this corner until here ok let's delete this one and just select all and just use arrow keys and try to take it to the center now click finish and go to the front view we got the extrusion here let's click outside and select that one again and use this handle and just drag it here perfect let's click finish model and the last thing which I want to create here is some uh, decorative spheres so let's go to the south elevation and we are going to use the model in place again to create the decorative spheres here so let's use revolve set the work plane and just draw a line here first 5 feet maybe and then we can use arc and just uh, create an arc here now we, we need to create the axis line to create the revolve here so just select the axis line and just draw an axis line from the middle here like so then click finish there you go we have created this sphere now to move this sphere we need to detach this from this uh, uh, work plane so let's go to edit work plane here and then click dissociate perfect let's go to level 1 and just move it uh, outside this wall now I want to copy this one to create another uh, smaller one here let's copy here go back to south elevation double click it and let's select all of these and let's scale it I will just make it 3 feet 6 and let's click finish and finish model again and move it and let's move it and just take it closer to this one perfect so we have created these spheres here now finish model so we have finished modeling this cool looking uh, facade design in Revit so that's it for this video in the next part we will uh, apply the materials and do the rendering in Enscape so stay tuned for that that's it for this video I hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my Revit advanced courses as well as uh, you can check out my patreon to get uh, all my Revit project files along with this one so that's it i will see you guys in the next video